Anglo-American Platinum navigated a challenging operating environment in the first half of the year, characterized by global macroeconomic headwinds, operational challenges, intensified ESCOM load curtailment and significantly lower dollar metal prices. First and foremost, I want to highlight our outstanding and consistent safety performance in this period. We have recorded no fatalities and achieved a record low total recordable case frequency rate of 1.58 per million hours worked. This milestone represents a year-on-year -year improvement of 32%. Significantly, Mohalakwena, Mototolo and Unki have all reported more than 11 years of mining without any fatalities. Amado Bolt's Tumela mine has been fatality-free for more than six years, recording 8.6 million fatality-free shifts. A remarkable achievement for a large, conventional PGM mine. It is clear that our culture of working safely and being intentional about not taking any shortcuts is improving every day with zero harm mining absolutely within our reach. Now let me turn to some operational and financial indicators. It is important for us to remember that when we revised our guidance towards the end of 2022, we did forecast a reduction in our production for 2023. This lower performance is attributable to our short-term lower grade in the mining areas at Mohalakwena, as well as planned infrastructure closures at Amandelbult. Total PGM production decreased by 7% to 1.8 million PGM ounces, primarily due to the expected lower grade at Mohalakwena, infrastructure closures at Tumela, poor ground conditions at Deshaba, and the ramp down of Kruindal. ESCOM's load curtailment also negatively impacted our concentrators and smelters resulting in an increase in work-in-progress inventory of 66,400 PGM ounces. The ramp-up of Polokwane smelter in January, following its rebuild, scheduled annual maintenance and asset integrity work at our processing operations, and ESCOM load curtailment were the main contributors to a 13% decline in refined production to 1.7 million ounces. Our financial performance was impacted by lower dollar metal basket prices, which decreased by 29% in the period to $1,885 per PGM ounce. Cash operating cost per PGM ounce increased by 24% to 18,076 Rand, mainly due to inflationary pressures and a weaker Rand. We remain confident that we will achieve our cost guidance in the full year, but guide that it will be on the upper end. In the six months under review, we delivered EBITDA of 13 billion Rand and an EBITDA mining margin of 42%. Our return on capital employed is 30%. We have maintained our strong capital discipline, investing in staying business capital into asset reliability to ensure that we deliver safe, stable and capable operations long into the future. We continue to deliver good returns to our shareholders with a dividend payout ratio of 40% of headline earnings. Our capital allocation framework underpins our strategy. As a result, we have a resilient balance sheet that sees through the market cycles. We have the PGM industry's most attractive resources and operations. The optionality of our operations ensures we can continuously strengthen our long-term cost curve position by making the right decisions at the right time. In the last six months, our PGM business has been a standout performer in the eyes of ESG ratings agencies, receiving several high profile awards and rankings as we continue to demonstrate our leadership across environmental, social and governance performance and disclosures. During this period, we paid 3.4 billion Rand in taxes and royalties, while investing 190 million Rand on social projects, community development, and empowerment initiatives. Our intentional efforts to be a leader in ESG will continue to provide a solid foundation for the sustainability 
of this business. Looking ahead, we expect platinum to remain in deficit over the next few years, as automotive demand gains from ongoing substitution of palladium in gasoline catalysts. On the other hand, it is likely that palladium and rhodium may be in a position of a small surplus. Emissions legislation around the world the growing hydrogen economy and demand for PGMs in industrial applications should see global demand grow in future. We continue to invest in our market development efforts and assets to ensure we take advantage of this growing demand. Our guidance remains unchanged. We expect both metal in concentrate and refined PGM production to be between 3.6 and 4 million ounces for the year subject to the impact of ESCOM load curtailment. Unit cost guidance remains at 16,800 Rand and 17,800 Rand per PGM ounce and is expected to be at the upper end of guidance. I would like to take the opportunity to thank all of my colleagues for their hard work and dedication over this period. Together, we continue to deliver incredible results during this very challenging times. I am proud of the partnerships we continue to build along the way, as well as the significant difference we continue to make in people's lives. Thank you for all the hard work that you do.